Hello and welcome back to Geek Feng Shui. Today we're going to take another tour into the environment or the uh, Odyssey that is called Tomb Raider. Um, we're going to look at the uh, rebooted of Tomb Raider in 2013, um, which is much better graphics. And then we're going to do Shadow of Tomb Raider, which is the latest game that I have, uh, to show you how much even better they got. Uh, in betwixt all those, as linked in the videos below, you can see the different ways that they've tried to redo Tomb Raider. Um, some were almost like Diablo, where they had the click and move type setup. Or, and it, 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 each style plays to a different audience that does like them, doesn't like them. And YouTube is too full these days of people, oh, that's the greatest thing since sliced bread, or, oh, it's crap. Well, it, the games are played as they're played. Just because you don't like it doesn't mean it's bad. It's just not your style. So that's my two cents on it. I, I play all of them the, the way I enjoy playing them. So we're going to try Tomb Raider. Shout out to a can of good brewing company, our local brewery. They have a great family environment and they do not compensate me for shouting them out. Enjoy every time I go. So we're gonna try a new game. They have multiplayer, I have not done the multiplayer. So we are going to create a new game. Do normal. There's easy. Famous explorer once said. Check out my game, my books, my games, my books, sellersjr.com. Not who we are. I finally set out to make my You see the graphics already compared to uh, Tomb Raider anniversary, or even the tenth anniversary one, and much better, more realistic. Something that keeps us going. That microphone is picking some, something up. There we go, I cleared it. Something that pushes us. <laughs> Now this has, reminds me of uh, Sylvester Stallone's movie, they're up in the mountains and he drops the woman, you watch her fall. Cliffhanger is the movie where there's a scene where he drops a woman um, who's trying to rescue. Just checking the audio here, so I do apologize.
Now you'll notice that a lot of the games the Tomb Raider had, this one in the shadow, and the, there might have been one previous, you, you see a gritty Laura Croft instead of the, I did not say cartoony, that'd be wrong, but it is what it is. This looks more realistic. There's a big uh, discussion in some of the uh, commentary about the impalement scene coming up that is almost too real for many people. Such is the reality of games these days, particularly the zombie movies. Oh dear. The only possible gripe I might have is that when you're playing your character, every so often they have like a cut scene changeover where it goes, she goes from your control to doing her own thing. So, how does one get out of this? Well, there's all kinds of different things you could do. Obviously not tie it up. Well, that's not good. That's even better. It's gonna hurt. I'm using my controller to do that. This is the infamous Will your stomach look away. Because now you gotta pull it out. So it gives you a hint, you gotta keep pressing the button. And the controller even vibrates to show that, hey, you're really in pain. worst nightmare you're in a place where it looks like voodoo oh, that was loud. this is Tomb Raider so we want to make sure we look around Don't. see if there's anything we need to take care of whoops what is this over here a torch you'll see an X show up or a fire when you can use it so when you do here, oh, it didn't catch fire. But we're going to keep our distance just because we don't know. We don't know. Again, Tomb Raider, look around for any hits. Uh, stumble into a crack, uh, yeah, put out the torch. So how do you light a torch? You go find it. See what's going on here. Left button. So we are going to do what you never do in a closed room. We're going to light a fire. Let me get the heck out of Dodge. Controller buzzes. We lost our torch again. See anything?
Takes a while to get used to the controls in here. Just keep moving. Come back, I'm hungry. Your flesh, I'm zombie. This is like cutscene that you're not really controlling the character. But she's smart enough to not put it in the water yet. Have to wonder if there's gas lying over there. That would be. And you're in control again. So I will admit, when I first got this game, way back when, I was not as patient as I am now to figure out what's going on. So what we got to do here... This is one of those typical Tomb Raider puzzles in the sense that you have to get through the other side there. And you can light boxes out there, but they're going to go out as soon as they go through the water. That is obvious. For those of you who tried like me to say, well, maybe if I light enough of them, no, it's not that much fun. So, let's make and see. It's like Assassin's Creed when you hold down the left button, it kind of gives you a... things are falling into that part up there. It's kind of a cause and effect feeling here. down. We saw... Let's see. It tells you... Oh, it was stuck in there. I should have lit it on fire first before I hit it. Alright. So... light all that crap on fire for a reason. Because now that's going to be our vessel for getting fired through the we'll go down we we'll go in there and hit the mine I'm not controlling the character but I'm doing my control about it. Now comes the race. You can appreciate the graphics difference between this game and the previous ones. Yeah, 
Collision. And if you don't do that, you get crushed. You're so dead as the end. Been there, done that. Well, there goes my torch. I'm using a left toggle. Over. You have to get out of your way. Otherwise, I'll knock you down. Unfortunately, I've never had that happen as of yet. It's not difficult as my work. And you're out of the freaking cave. The true gritty Laura Croft. Me a bit of Assassin's Creed to be honest. We have a lot of shipwrecks you can go out and swim at. And the tiles. You made it! You got 300 experience points. I'll hold down left button to look. I don't think anything that jumps out at me. So theoretically, there always could be something. I don't know if I jump over there, if I will die. I don't know what. Doesn't look like there's anything of interest in there, but that, this is Tomb Raider, you just never know. But I'm not going to take my chances. If I miss something, I miss something. Because then there's the thought of, okay, if I go down there... Gives you if you're afraid of heights. Okay. Take your Original Tomb Raider and some of them where I was jumping from Billy and Billy had me break out in a cold sweat. And those were the old crew graphics. So I am controlling the character to some extent. It's more of a test to see, okay, will you think to control her or are you gonna let her stand there and break the logs? I bet if you stand there long enough the rock the log breaks. One just never knows. You have to jump because I think if you fall down there, you never know what you're going to do down there. I'm going to go along here. So you notice those ribs, they look a lot like they have for the cliffs for jumping. Oops, didn't do it fast enough. So yeah, you have to hit X. It's, it's um, a different kind of climbing. Do. So this is a lot like Come on. Come on. You have to 
do the X, so it's a little bit more complicated. And I didn't do that, she falls off. Ooh, we did a little bit of jump. We gotta do the goat trail here. Am I missing anything along the way? Probably. I doubt it, but you never know. So... Sam's pack. This is where it takes over and does a cutscene. Sam! You're, in, you're not in control. They must have come this way. Now there's been commentary about Laura's outfits between this Sam? one, which she was more exposed, if Maybe I want to use a term for visual reasons, and then Shadow of Tomb Raider, she has a much better outfit, if you want to call it that, or she's not as... I think I did that. I think she's supposed to fall. There's some of these things that, no matter how hard you try, she's gonna fall. I think they do that so you swear at your controller. You Want to go back and re jump again? Please consider subscribing liking. If you are hesitant to subscribe because you're afraid you're all these notifications, then set the bell accordingly. It's appreciated and helps support the channel. If you're interested in uh, weird wild westerns, check out my books at sellersjr.com. Some of my smoking fun I have a killed this fine DBQ. You really feel bad for Laura. You can tell that she's really shivering. This is me. See, if I was her and I had one match, it'd be wet and wouldn't like. I'd find the one piece of non-flammable brush. Notice the detail you can get on the radio. It, the advances that come over the years since the original Tomb Raider came out. And new gaming engines is amazing. On the next one, you'll see even more detail. Is there a preference? To me, no. There are characters in different games. It's no different than Assassin's Creed in its variations. Here's the soon to be world famous archaeologist, Lara Croft in her native habitat. She's on the hunt for the lost kingdom of Yamatai, home to the fabulous Himiko, mythical sun queen, and ancestor of yours truly. <laughs> Sam, this is serious. Oh, this sweet. gives you a little bit of backstory on the... I'm just uh, trying to lighten the mood here. Everyone's so on edge. Storyline. What are you so worried about? I'm close to something. I'm sure of it. I just don't know if the others will listen. Or even if they should. Lara... You know this stuff better than anyone. Seriously, I'm not just saying this to make you feel better. I trust you, Roth trusts you, you got this. Now let's take a break, okay? Okay, okay. And Sam, thanks. She's not always this serious, you know? How can you suggest I'm not serious about this expedition, Laura? It's not just Sam's family funding us. I put my savings on the line, too. You've all got some kind of stake in this. 
The funding won't last forever, Whitman. That's precisely why we should push east, not west. Uh, no one well, believes well, Yamata... Well, no well, one well, believes well, Yamata is that far well, east. Well, the books simply don't support it. Well, whoever wrote those books never found Yamata. I've talked to Roth about this. There's no point in following in other people's footsteps, Dr. Whitman. I refuse to bet my reputation on your hunch. I'm the lead archaeologist here. And when were you last in the field with a TV crew behind you? Got 30 years experience, two PhDs, one in East Asian history. So why don't you just stick to boats, Mr. Grimm? Ship, Dr. Whitman. It's a ship. You don't need a PhD to know Look, that. Going east will take us directly into the Dragon's Triangle. That's where we need to go. <sighs> Lara, my little bird. I'd follow you almost anywhere, but that place has a bad energy. Bad storms, more like, makes the Bermuda Triangle look like Disney World. <laughs> Sign me up. The stories about Queen Himiko say she could summon storms. Myths are usually based on some version of the truth. What if Yamatai was somewhere in the Triangle itself? Well, look, this is the satellite imagery from inside the Dragon's Triangle. That doesn't look good. If it's wet, I can sail on it. Oh, don't tell me you're seriously you know, cons... Reyes is right. We don't have the funds to piss about. It's now or never. Lara's offering fresh ideas and a plan. I'm the captain here. It's my decision. We're going into the Dragon's Triangle. Why am I even here? <laughs> because you're highly educated doesn't mean you're smart. <clears throat> This is kind of the end of the first act. I can't just sit here. I've got well, to find could. something to eat. Reminds me a lot of. We don't have pistols at the moment, so this ought to be interesting. Oh, God. What's going on here? Wait. I can use that bow. Yeah, you could if you were able to climb up. Get up high. Can't hunt with my bare hands. I need to find a weapon. Wonder. to start. That's a good. Somehow Just I got the arrows all. Training. You can have the best form and technique in the world, but it won't mean a thing if you can't focus. The key to using any weapon is focus. So what I want to do is there a save button? No, I think it just so, saved it on Mac. I need to find something to eat. Hmm. 
into practice with Pro. Anything worthwhile and as cheap is the next question. A uh, med pack. It, it happened again. Private Kosuke. He was on gate duty last night. No one heard anything. And this morning, they found his helmet. Nothing else. No mm -hmm. tracks of his leaving. No blood. No shell casings. Nothing. The others are talking about Chinese partisans. Maybe even American GIs. Damn fools! They have no idea what's happening here. It is the Oni who stalk us. The restless, evil spirits. They live in the old places of this island. We are trespassers here. And they are watching us. Waiting. All these wrecks, the ruins, this entire island is a graveyard. It's only a matter of time. The Oni will come for us. So we're collecting these. Now let's go over and find those deer. They were back here. Maybe, maybe not. That's the fire. Very Assassin's Creed with that. Good. So why would there be a rope on a tree? He asks. Sorry. Thank you. 
All right, Martha. You won't always have some fancy gadget to tell you where you are. If you can learn to read the land and the stars, you'll always be able to find your way home. So we're picking up tons and tons and tons of arrows, which is good. Question is, where am I in relation to where I want to be? I think I'm going to go up here. Yeah, I'm not going to shoot them. I got the meat. Base camp. This is Conrad Roth, captain of the Endurance. We are shipwrecked on an island inside the Dragon's Triangle. Roth, Lara. you're alive. Easy, easy. Are you okay? What happened? I remember the beach, and then it went black, and I woke up in a cave. There was this crazy man, Roth, and a dead body. Oh, God. Where are you now, Lara? Are you safe? It was so horrible. It's all my fault. This is all my fault. Lara, listen to me. I sent an SOS from the Endurance before I abandoned her. Hopefully someone caught it. I've spoken to the others. We're regrouping at my location. Please come and get me. I have to stay here. You can do this, Lara. Remember when we climbed Snowden? You said the key was knowing that all you've got to do is just keep, keep moving. moving. Remember everything I've taught you, Lara. You're ready for this. And keep your radio on. Okay. So I'm going to take the opportunity at this point and uh, exit to the main menu. We just did a campsite, so everything should be copacetic. And that is Tomb Raider. They have multiplayer achievements. You know what benchmark is. Well, before we do this, let's look at like extras. Character models for now. Okay, let's. Multiplayer. You have to. Have, I have no friends online. <laughs> what is a downloadable con? Oh, you got uh, the deadly scavenger executioner. I will have to add that to my, they will try to get you uh, to buy all of the game of the year stuff going on there. I think I'll add that to my cart and uh, leave it there for the moment. Come back and get it. And so then I'm going to quit the game and call it a video. 
And that is the reboot. Folks, shout out to Canada Good Brewing again. I'm not being paid or otherwise compensated. I'm bringing it up because you're a good people, a good place, and a fun place to visit. Check out breweries in your own area. And uh, that'll be it for this video. More to come. Have a good one. Thank <laughs> you.